must have done good this week if you buy yourself. By myself, yeah. <laughs> you got it smelling good in here. It smells like well, yeah, coconuts that's, or that's her. She some uh, kind of mixed drink or something. It <laughs> smells good. She uh, put one of those little air freshener things up while I was doing the house, and I just left it up. It smells good. I get it smells good in here about four or five times a day, so I, uh, <laughs> some change is good, right? That's it. Now right. uh, she's off. We got a. Me and her had the flu over the weekend, and my daughter is actually. Um, she was showing some symptoms of the flu, which we think now that that was a fluke because she. I mean, she's not running any fevers. Yeah. No. But just just to be safe, we ain't sending her to school, so she's at home with the kids. But yeah, they. Uh, I didn't even know that people were still getting the flu. <laughs> I was kind of. It's so, kind of shattered by everything else. Well, that's I was going surprised. On. You know, we went and got tested and they're like, yeah, you don't have COVID, you have the flu. And it's like, man, what's that? That's a blessing though. Yeah, I mean, so I thought it, you know, they told us to, you know, stay in the house for three days and it's like, three days don't seem so long no more. Yeah. Especially when it used to be, you know, when we first got COVID, it was 14 days, mm -hmm. which I think now it's down to five, but you, you take two weeks compared to three days and it's like, I can do that. Yeah, yeah, that's you know. just a little break. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> So, well, what cool new exciting stuff you got this week? I showed the torques on these a while back, and now I have the metric Allen set. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of people that like the torques just because they're swivel and that they're they're on the longer uh, impact extension there. Yep. So, doing uh, different sensors and stuff like that. Uh, I know Toyota's got different wheel speed sensors and stuff that, that's held in with some islands. Um, but you've also got um, other sensors and stuff throughout the car that's also... Uh, I know Torx is more popular than your islands, but uh, these do come in handy on a lot of your other stuff as well. Um, I like that it's got the impact driver. Mm -hmm. And I also like the fact that it's... I know. I know it's swivel, but I like the fact that it's made onto the extension, yeah. so I don't have to worry about Pulling it falling off. off yeah. You know, with this locking into your impact, and then this locked on up here, mm -hmm. I don't have to worry about dropping either one. Uh, and that's usually key. When there's a long extension, there's usually somewhere that's deep that you can't get your hand exactly. into to get it back out of. So I wonder if those magnetic, you know, the remember the screwdriver magnets that you had that you could slide over the shanks of screwdrivers. Yeah, if it'd slide over and I magnetize wonder if it would that. magnetize through that joint, because, uh, man, that would be the perfect deal right there. I'm, I'm going to say it probably would. Um, the closer you got to it, the better. Mm -hmm. But I, I'll have to get some of those in and try that out. That may be something for the next video. Yeah, that's that would be the perfect deal. And that way I don't have to worry about dropping a darn little screw, you know. Right. Uh, well, and especially if you're using one of those, you know, one of these bigger ones here, um, it, it's not as common to drop for some mm -hmm. reason. But you get one that you got yeah, that small. Tiny little fellows. You're not only going to drop that screw, but you're never going to find it. <laughs> yeah. Like it, you can drop it on concrete right in front of you, and you're still not going to find it usually. Yep. But um, I just it's amazing how that stuff disappears. It is. Um, I really like the cases on these too. I know they're kind of bulky, and, and, and but it's it's just a quick. Yep, they're all mm -hmm. there. You know, if you start. I know I see a lot of people just lay uh, like their extensions because extensions usually come in the plastic trays. We've talked about how they break and stuff yeah. like that. So you just find yourself laying them in your box and they're rolling around and all of a sudden, yep, they're all there. You close it, you come back the next day, you need your favorite extension, it's not there. Yeah. Or it's the extension that you don't use very often but mm -hmm. you got that one job. Um, I know I probably shouldn't say this, but I had one that I like to do transmission seals with. It was just the right length to take and hit with a hammer and yeah. it would drive it right in. Um, but I didn't use it for anything else. So the mm -hmm. only time I realized it was missing was when you needed to was when I needed to that. do one of those. Yeah. And it was in my bay. I was on the clock. Now where's my extension at? You know, mm -hmm. who's used it for something else? So um, <laughs> clearly they were probably trying to use it for an extension, but I was using it for you right. know to the seal driver basically. Mm -hmm. But so I really like that. But we've also been talking about Expo this week. Um, it's coming up. Uh, we actually fly out. The fourth, some people flying out the fifth, but basically the week of the, that Monday, I think it's the seventh. That's the week that we're going to be out. So um, we're starting to show people 
uh, t talk about what's going to be there and stuff, um, get people excited about it, get pre-orders going, especially the people that we've sold um, boxes to. Um, now's the time to get your add-ons, your top hutch, your lockers, top chest, um, because we're going to get, be getting them in deals and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So, And if you're thinking about upgrading from a cart to a box, or maybe you're just thinking about going into a cart, um, we've been talking about that, making some cart deals. Um, you know how we like to do cart deals, so. Yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what you're going to put together because it's usually always something really good and cool when you come back from Expo, you know, with those cart deals especially. Yeah, well, we've heard <clears throat> we've heard some exciting things that's going to be there. Um, what? Tell us some of it. Well, the, there's going to be some changes to our diagnostic um, lineup as far as the Max Flex. Uh, I think they're making it a lot more... Um, I don't really know the word to, to say, but they're not really changing the software so much, but they're changing the way the it, it's basically going to look like the 3.0. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a lot more heavy duty. You're going to have that um, bigger memory and stuff like that. Right. Um, is what I'm guessing. You know, I've, I've you've heard bits and pieces. Um, they haven't released it, so I won't know till I get there to, to confirm, but I think that's where they're headed towards that. Um, I've saw some distributors have put out um, the pictures of some of the stuff that's going to be there. I have saw some limited edition uh, blue die grinders. Um, I figure the limited edition is just to see how well they go over, but um, got some excitement on that, um, which I have green and orange here. But when people started seeing that, they're holding off for the blue. They want me to order those. So mm -hmm. if, if you're wanting the blue grinders, that may be something that you ask your distributor about, stuff like that. But um, I'm hoping to see the changes to the 4S box. I mean, you know, we, we get told that they're changing it up. What better time than to release it right. than, than at Expo. So, mm -hmm. But um, I know I was going through um, some of the... the material and there was like 72 different pages uh of product uh, and it's it's not it's not double spaced i promise you it's it's back to back so it's looking like there's gonna be a whole lot of good stuff at expo but um that's the, good the i'm looking forward to seeing it the <coughs> show and tell guides is the main thing we've we've been we've printed several out um handed them out and stuff getting people to you know what what's something that you might want that you might need uh, we haven't got just set in stone pricing yet, so um, not necessarily, I'm not asking you to uh, guarantee you're going to buy it, but if, if I call you with a price on the expo floor and say, hey, this is what I can get it for you mm -hmm. at, do you think you might want it? At least I know to call you, basically. Yeah, yeah. So if you haven't if you haven't made your list and uh, told your distributor yet what you're looking for, what you might buy, I've been talking to a lot of my shop owners and stuff, because what better time to buy? Um, big equipment than when it's on sale right exactly save Which, a little money a lot of your a lot of your shops i know they bought stuff at the end of the year for tax purposes mm -hmm. but there's still some of that stuff that they're like yeah you know i would have bought this too but it's just not the right price yet so uh, with price increase going up on everything i'm really going to try to take advantage of expo this year just to lock in a good price right. to carry out through the year because i know all my customers and stuff are looking for deals so that's but, good Looking forward to it. That's, that's <laughs> it's it. gonna be some good stuff. But, well, I want to show these because I've actually got a set of these, and uh, I'll get my camera to focus better. These right here are worth their weight in gold. So on those, um, I know they're a lot thinner, but if you could get the pliers that you bought in there over those, do you go to the pliers first or? If I can get the pliers, yes. I think but that's the... There's a lot of times that you just need to reach up in there. And what I like about these is the angle that's on them. Well, and they usually put those in the tightest spot. Yeah. Because, like, you can reach up in somewhere and, and it'll, you know, yeah. you can pull on the hose with one hand and just kind of reach in there and pop it down or pop it up, whatever you need to do. And that extra length is really nice on those. And I like this end on it. Right. Because the way that's designed, it kind of cups around the hose and you slide up yep. and you can push up in there. It's, it's nice. As long as there ain't a bunch of dirt and debris and everything, mm -hmm. which that never happens, right? Those no, don't ever never, get full ever, of dirt. No. 
uh, I know fuel pumps and stuff, they put them in the best locations and you never get dirt and stuff in, mm -hmm. in those fittings and stuff. Like, especially like if you're working, like a reefer trailers are the worst, you know, cause they got the, a lot of the dry bands too. They put the airbags kind of up in the frame yeah. and there's always a hole that's there and it's always a pain in the butt to, to get some of the airlines loose. And man, those things right there, you just reach up in there and pop the yeah. airlines off pretty quick, so. It's, it's tools like that that make the job a lot quicker and simpler. And it's that. super simple. I mean, super simple. some dude took a piece of round pipe and bent it in a 45, beat it flat, and cut out a U in it. I mean, that's where that tool was born, but it's perfect, you know? So uh, I actually had a <coughs> customer order something um, he had seen. It was a, uh, it's right back here on that bike box. Let me grab it right quick. It was uh these here and when he ordered them i decided to get one to show everybody we're talking about super simple that nobody's ever thought of that well actually everybody's thought of it nobody's just ever done it yeah anytime anybody's did an o2 sensor they've always said you know if they would make a wrench mm -hmm. or a design that i could stick over you know if i could just slip it over especially on your lines yeah. um as far as um the course seven eighths is too big for your mm -hmm. distribute uh, not your uh, brake cylinders and stuff but any line type wrench deal. Right. You, if I didn't have to take this off and put it back up. Yep. So he wanted this because he does a lot of the O2 sensors and stuff like that. He can just slip it over it, ratchet it, it comes with this and he's done. You know, mm -hmm. he's not dealing with the O2 sensor um, socket that's spreading open because I don't care how great a quality it is. Eventually, if that thing is tight enough, it's gonna start oh, spreading yeah. open. Yeah. I mean, you take anything that's round and cut you know, a hole down the center, mm -hmm. you start putting the right torque on it, it's gonna start spreading open. So this is just another simple tool that we've all thought of. Yeah. We just never took the to initiative. Those work great on knock sensors too. Yeah, well, yeah. It just any anything really, any sensor that you just need to slide over that that it fits. I know they've got they've got more sizes and stuff like that too. So uh, I like the fact, like on transmission lines or any of those, to where people use the wrong wrench or use a uh, a cheaper quality wrench that that may not fit exactly right, and it's going to round that mm -hmm. off, and then. Most of the time, unless you've got the equipment to put a new end on it, you're just yep. you, you're using vice grips or something in the tightest mm -hmm. spot you can get to, and you're costing yourself right well, there. <laughs> you know, just <laughs> that's the fit all wrench right there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just anything, right? Yep. Um, but I will say, um, you you bring us back to the Nipix. Those don't have to lock. Them yep. things right there, when you when you put on them, they're not slipping. Well, I wish we still had that. Do you still have that demo in here where you... I don't have that, that demo pipe? in here right now, but I have it at the house. Um, Michael had a had a, a a piece of pipe in here that was bent, sort of like a step. It yeah, kind of looked like a handle. And the way it worked, you could put these Nipex on them, and you just put it around the pipe, and he would just stand on this side. This side was just like hanging loose, and it would support his weight. So... The, well, that squeeze, like everybody thinks you have to squeeze them, you know. Like, yeah, yeah, so, and, and the thing about that is, um, it was a lot more dramatic when I was a lot, I was bigger than what I am now, but um, I would take the smaller ones. I wouldn't grab the bigger ones. Because if you grab the bigger ones, you're like, okay. Yeah. But you take these smaller ones that your foot barely fits on, mm -hmm. and you put them on that demo, and then you stand on them, and people's like, well, how's that doing that? <laughs> yeah. and, and the key thing I hear is, well, let them teeth wear a little bit. Yeah. Well, yeah, let teeth on anything wear a little bit, but I'm a tool Obviously, truck that right. has a lifetime warranty. Why don't you mm -hmm. come talk to me? Let me, you know, we won't get into the warranty debate, but why don't you come talk to me, yeah. you know? But. Well, that's kind of like, you remember the time that I was in there was working on, was working on an airbag and I couldn't get that stud out. I was doing everything we could to get a stud out. And Michael just walks in that morning. It was his normal day to work. And he said, I got something that'll take it out. I said, if you got something that'll take this out, I'll buy it. Remember that? Yep. You walked out here and you got that Swedish pipe wrench yep. made by Nipex. And we put that thing on there. And it was just like, it was like heaven seeing it. Just super easy to get it out, you know? And I've actually ended up buying the whole set of those. Like I've got... You know, because they've got like the S jaw and the straight yeah. jaw. I got the whole set of those eventually, and they're so, worth every every penny of it. Um, 
everybody knows I do a little odd and things at the house for people and uh, same thing but I can't I'm trying to remember what exactly it was uh, I had something doing the exact same thing and and I come out here and and, and grab them off the truck mm -hmm. and you know I know that they're expensive I know this job wasn't going to pay enough to even pay for the pliers that it was going to take to do it but right. at the time it was like you know what if this will do it and since then i've used them mm. more for just random stuff that you wouldn't really think of um we had uh some family members that live across the road it's, it's actually my my uncle they had sold a trailer and the people that come to buy it didn't put the ball on their truck till they got there well they didn't have the right size right. all of a sudden that's like an inch and an eighth or inch and a quarter or yeah like well uh leslie is running the route so the tool truck's not there so that does me no good right and uh i had those pliers and i was like look i know this probably ain't the right way to do it but uh, <laughs> it'll work i'm pretty sure if you'll take these pliers mm -hmm. and, and we took it and we we were a little worried about whether we were going to round the corners on on the actual nut itself and no mm -hmm. you, you put those and the key thing is put them in the right direction yeah everybody every time we talk about nipix somebody says hey these have got a, a certain direction to go and that's the most true comment there mm -hmm. is yeah these teeth are, are angled in different directions and stuff to, to make it grab but they work better one way than the other mm -hmm. those are the same way we put that ball on he got the trailer for he those left. that don't know it's always better to push pressure on this side like you see how the head's doing all right maybe you could hold it and show a little yeah. better because it's kind of hard is it close so here here's the deal when you're pushing pressure i always want to push right here the reason that i want to push right here on this side here is because it's going to clamp down on there mm -hmm. you start pushing on this side this one's going to you have to grip at that point right, right because it's gonna push it open. If I push here, this is locked together now and it's gonna start going and, mm -hmm. and, and break it loose. So there is a right way, there is a wrong way. So if you're loosening it, you'd wanna flip it over and that way you're still on the still this, on this side. side. You're, you're actually pulling versus pushing. Yeah, so. so, and the quick adjust on these, they, they actually make a style that's quick adjust, got the little red ring on there, but I still call these quick adjust too. I know that's wrong, but, um, when you have to take and, and, mm -hmm. and deal with that lock, it, those those to me are slow, but these are quick. I like it just because if you're in a tight spot, I mean, you can just... You remember the day that you had the red ring ones up here and I asked you about them? I said, why have these got a red ring? What's different? And you said, I don't know. And you uh -huh. got to researching it and we got to playing with them. Yep. That was super cool. So a tool guy, I don't know everything about tools, obviously, but uh, it, it is fun to learn some of this stuff. And, and customers do... Um, they come in here time uh, from time to time and and try to tell us something uh, new and exciting and sometimes they're able to tell it to us and um, sometimes we already know it but I like when customers do that when they can inform me something I'm gonna tell you another trick I bet you didn't know I guarantee you didn't know this one like the 10 inch version of the nip X this right here is a bottle opener do you know that uh, you didn't. put that thing on the side of your bottle and <laughs> it works perfect so there if, you guys if they don't a, have a cool that, little trick if, a 10 inch works better than any other size if nipix don't have that on their selling sheet they should they should put that <laughs> the on 10 there inch is the best bottle opener though because that gap is the right height and the bottom of that bottle cap will fit in there and this will hug the top corner and it just it's perfect hey if they don't have that on there they should have oh. like i always look at how to get the most use out of your tools and yeah I like to drink beer, so when you put them together, nothing else is better on earth. Well, I've always, <laughs> I've always said Nipix has got the best pliers, and it's like they're they're constantly improving to themselves. You know, most companies, um, the problem they have is they look out and they go, okay, what's everybody else doing? Okay, we want to improve, we want to one up them. Mm -hmm. Well, the problem, and car manufacturers do the same thing, and I guess a bunch of companies do that. But, right. Okay, right. we want to be one better. The the thing about Nipix that I really like is they don't. They, okay yeah we're gonna look at what everybody else got but all right we've got this one this year what are we going to top it with yeah and, that's and they how, do somehow and, every year yeah, well i mean these here uh this is the first that i'm seeing these and then they come out with the the uh, twin grips, the, yeah. the twin grips. 
Um, so they're you cutters. Might show those twin grips because I know we've, we've showed them before on my channel, but there's probably somebody watching this that may not know about the twin grips. Kind of like the vampire pliers, right? Mm -hmm. um, when they first come out, everybody lost their mind over the um, vampire pliers because of the way the teeth are here. It allows you to go over the, let's say a strip screw or whatever it may be, go over it, grab it, turn it, break it loose. Several different ways to use these pliers. If it works, you're doing it the right way, right? Um, but it's also got the uh, button on them to adjust to wider and, and just like that, I mean. And this side, if you'll notice the way the teeth are cut, it'll grip a nut perfectly. It, and that's the so. thing about them. They don't just stop at um, we talked about being better than everybody else, but they they start to think about all right Yeah, we want to be able to take out damaged Stuff so mm -hmm. let's make it to where when it grips it doesn't let loose, but they also think about okay. What about if? He's got these in his pocket and he walks up and it's not damaged We mm -hmm. want our product not to damage something they think about that too. It fits in there you know, no, you don't want to have just one pair of these and right. that be, you don't want to never buy sockets again. No, that's not what I'm talking about. But if you break down on the side of the road and you need to change that battery out, exactly. we don't want to damage everything in the process. So let's do the best we can to be, have something. Mm -hmm. and, and I carry some of these in my center console um, just for that. But yeah, the, the vampire or the Nipix uh, there, it's, they're kind of like the and vampire. And they're flush cuts are the best flush cuts ever made. They're, I, don't I know usually, if you've got any or not, but well, I, I normally do, but need to um, get some because they are amazing. I have a guy at a sawmill that's been buying them. Um, they use them a lot. A lot of people think flush cut are just for zip ties. That's mm -hmm. no, like anything and everything. I like flush cut because I don't like anything. I don't like none that of that sharp edge, just anything. Loose, I mean, yeah. it just, it's the stuff that make that makes it look clean mm -hmm. and and buttoned up that make that job look even better. Um, but they're they're cutters in in general. I mean, they're flush yeah. cut. They're you know they're little cable cutters. They're any of them. They're mm -hmm. they're far oh, none. Yeah, that's the ones that I did the video on. These are called the step cuts. And like those, if you guys hadn't seen that, I'll put a link at the top. The way those step cuts work those little grooves in there, like if you got a multi-strand wire, like trailer, you know, wiring harness, or like a, you know how they have like the um, 12 or 15 wires that's in the one yeah. bundle and you want to cut across it. If I worked at a scrap yard or a salvage yard or a pull apart place where I had to go out there and do that, those things are worth more than any tool you'll have because the way it works, those step cuts, Instead of cutting through all 20 wires at one time, it, it's, it, it makes it like three or four, three or four, three or four, three or four. And you'll so see, it's yeah. so much easier on your hands to cut bigger stuff like that. Right, because you're targeting <laughs> little smaller sections. And see, a lot of your scrap yards, they use these here. But, yeah. but the thing about it is, like you say, you're trying to cut all of them at one time mm -hmm. there to where if you jump down to these, you're, you're, you're step cutting. So um, you're starting to notice people. Um, well, in the way they're shaped too, they've got sort of a, a yeah. ramp. You know yeah. the the bottom handle sort of round, and it just gives you more leverage when you're cutting. Because I cut some really thick. It was like a alt yeah battery cable with it, and it's just like that. I mean, well, nothing and to it. the design of the handles is something else. I mean, that's just like anything: screwdrivers, chisels, whatever it may be. They design it to where you get the most torque out of your mm -hmm. hand. Um, so that's yeah. what I was going to tell you a little story about when. You know, I added another airline in the shop and we use the one inch gas line is what we've got for airlines in there. And after it's been there a long time, you know how hard it is to turn gas line. Right. You know, to break the old nipples off and oh, stuff yeah. like that. So I used that Swedish pipe wrench, the same one I bought from you, uh, made by Nipex. And dude, it just gripped. Like I didn't have to squeeze or anything. and. It's almost like I just pulled my weight down. Of course, I was up on the ladder, you know, because it's 16 foot up in the air, so it's yeah. top of the ceiling. So I pulled down on it just like with my weight, and it just spun it right out of there. It wouldn't, there wasn't no cussing, no fussing, <laughs> no stress. Like, I was really surprised. Yeah, if, if you're doing any of that, the thing about it is you can fight with a pipe wrench all day long. 
-hmm. spinning that uh, little um, knob there, adjusting it. You know, yeah, I know it's designed to be able to slide and grab. Them nipics are still quicker. You know what my pet peeve is with a pipe wrench or an adjustable wrench? You know, like the crescent style wrench that's got yeah. the little screw in the middle? That rattle. I cannot <laughs> stand that rattle at all. Like, that's why I don't like using a pipe wrench, just that shaking, rattling. Yeah, well, you. It's just OCD, man. You know, on like uh, pipe wrenches and stuff, you, you're normally working on, uh, like you said, gas line, water line, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, water gets in that, and then you're getting surface rust, and, and you're mm -hmm. usually putting it in a toolbox. Um, and most of the time, it's it got moisture. Well, all of a sudden, that starts getting hard to turn now. Yeah. I haven't got a push button one that's hard to push. <laughs> Dude, those uh, nipex, the design so, that they have are, are by far the, the most superior design of any tool. So with with that being said, I mean, when I did the, the, the home projects over the last couple of weeks or months, I about said weeks and that, that would have been a lie, but months, <laughs> I found myself using um, nipex uh, when I did the wiring. Uh, mm -hmm. And like you said, running gas line, uh, just any time, any time I needed something to do that, yeah. um, even if it wasn't quite made for that, I found myself doing it, you know, just to see that, oh, wow, that'll do that, you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, great pliers. And um, you get a bottle opener. So bo and that's bottle why opener. I, I, those 10 inch are by far my favorite because they still, they're long enough to put out a lot of leverage, but the head's still thin enough that you can get it in some places and they're, in my opinion, that's the best pair that they make size-wise. Yeah. Somebody right. somewhere is defending the pliers that they've already got so they don't have to buy more. Yeah. Hey, if they would ever okay. buy just one set, just go out to your micro truck, ask them for a set of Nipix. Mm -hmm. They've got them. Just try, just one. This is sort of be a challenge to every Matco dealer or every tool truck dealer. If you sell a guy a pair of 10-inch Nipix, and he don't like them, you should give him his money back. I've never said. I don't I've think never you'll seen. ever. I don't think you'll ever have to refund anybody. It's if like you the do, they're steps. lying. They're full of crap. It's you know? like the hyper step drill bits. I have yeah. never once. I have handed out a three eight drill bit, uh, nine thirty seconds, so many times to trailer mm -hmm. techs, and said, "Here, if you don't like it, just bring it back." Yeah. And they come out and they're like, "Look, I was able because they do the wood floors," mm -hmm. um, and. Uh, here, I just give me the whole case. You know. Yep. I think three hundred holes what they told me one time that they were able to do, whereas they were buying eight or nine bits a trailer mm -hmm. before. So they're worth the that's like those cutting wheels, that cutting wheel that you sold yeah. me. Yeah. Now yep. that thing was crazy. I don't know if you got any of them or not. It was very expensive. Like yeah, it was like forty something. In dollars. my mind I'm thinking, man, this is asinine to pay this much for a cutting wheel. That damn thing is still going. Yeah. like still going well they, they've got two different styles of it yeah it's the carbide uh the diamond wheel deal and uh and what i like about it you can like if you're cutting a bolt off you can still use it for like a grinder not just a yeah. cutting wheel and it don't hurt it you know i uh, i've got a guy that works at a junkyard uh, i know Tough. we're trying to wrap it up but uh he come on here and he wanted the the regular style here um yeah the the wheel style he said he goes is. through a pack a week and he wanted me to keep them in stock. And I was like, well, I can definitely do that. Um, I'm definitely a little bit higher than what you're buying them at, you know, Harbor Freight or, home, or wherever, you know, wherever yeah. you're getting them at. But yeah, I can keep them in stock. Uh, I, but I, I said, I tell you what, take this in there, wear it out and then bring it back to me. And I said, by the time you've done that, I will have these in stock. Guess what I don't have in stock? <laughs> I know the, and guess what? He's not great. brought back to me. I, I mean, know. He ended up coming to me two weeks later and was like, "Here, I'll pay for it." And I'm like, yeah. well, "It's you know, it's forty bucks." And he's like, "I don't care. Yeah. I'd have done bought three packs." So um, that's the way I look at. And they don't break easy. Like the number one problem I had with cutoff wheels, they're so thin, you could bump them when you yeah. set them down or whatever. They're going to chip, and once they chip, they come all to pieces. Well, and it's just the hazard of it too. Mm -hmm. I mean. Yeah, you got safety glasses on, but that's not protecting your teeth. You know, <laughs> uh, you can wear you can you can wear that face shield all you want to, but yeah. that's not protecting your your neck yeah. or. Uh, I've and never. Things is freaking. I've seen some videos and pictures on the internet where cutoff wheels come apart. Man, it's it's bad. Like I don't want to be really no part bad. of it. I don't want any part of it. Spend the money, get the good one. Uh, make the job easier. That's right. All right, guys, 
like always thanks for hanging out with us if you liked the video be sure to hit that thumbs up check over here for merchandise cool tools and discount codes down here get you a pair of 10 inch snip x open some beers do some work i promise you'll like them if you're not subscribed click that button y'all have a great week see ya